I'm Darren Schmitz with VMware, and in this second video of the series, I'll be showing the initial setup of the vSphere Replication and Site Recovery Manager appliances. More specifically, the next steps are performing the vCenter registrations and initial site pairing. To begin, we open our web browser to the Virtual Appliance Management interface for the vSphere Replication machine and click to open the Appliance Management login page. Once logged in, the first thing we need to do is click to configure the appliance. This process registers the replication appliance with the Google Cloud VMware Engine vCenter instance and installs the vSphere replication extension. On the first screen of the wizard, we provide the vCenter login information, making sure to use the solution user account we prepared in the previous video. This is because the cloud owner account does not have the required privileges to complete these tasks. Following through the steps, we provide the site name, an administrator email, and select the local host address before clicking Next. After a quick review of the information, we click Finish to start the appliance registering itself with vCenter. Once this process is finished, we can move along to do the same process with the SRM appliance. From the Virtual Appliance Management interface for SRM, we once again click on the button to open the Appliance Management login page. Once logged in, we click on the Configure Appliance button to begin the SRM registration wizard. Since this appliance is also located at Site 1, we can provide the same vCenter information used with the vSphere replication appliance. After completing all the steps, we once again review the information and click Finish. Once this process completes, we will have registered both appliances at Site 1 with their respective vCenter server. From here, we need to complete the same process with the vSphere Replication and Site Recovery Manager appliances at Site 2. For the sake of time, this will not be shown in this video. We now can return to the initial SRM website, but this time, we click to launch to the Site Recovery login page. Remember that it is important to log in using the Solution User account because this account has been granted the elevated privileges needed to carry out the vSphere replication and SRM tasks. Next, we can click to create a new site pair. This will connect Site 1 to Site 2 so they can communicate bidirectionally. The pair type is already set to a different SSO domain, so we can proceed. To find the Site2 vCenter server, we input the FQDN and Solution User account for the secondary site, then click the Find button. After selecting the server, we move along to the Services screen, where we are offered to pair both Replication and SRM at the same time. After approving both certificate thumbprints, one for each appliance, we can click on Finish to get the pairing started. In a moment or two, the pairing will complete, and the new site pair will appear. Now that everything is registered with vCenter, check out the next video in the series to learn about configuring the Site Recovery Manager site pair mappings and advanced settings. To learn more about Google Cloud VMware Engine, visit our site at cloud.google.com slash vmware-engine.